Comrades, I am Admiral Andre. Welcome back to Real Politics. It has been far too long. You know, the world has its crises and sometimes I'm off on my missions. But at last, I'm back again. So, let's do a quick review before we carry on, just to uh, remind, especially myself, uh, what's happening here. We can see the warmonger level is still incredibly high, so obviously that is an ongoing problem. Then we're still busy with infinity and beyond, and that will continue until, let's see, when is the end date? It's uh, this year, but in about nine months. So we're still going to have to spend a great deal of money on this. Which means, of course, more debt. Then we are busy trying to gain a core on uh, Zambia, which is interesting. I kind of forgot about that one. And of course, we're busy with infrastructure level three and the culture programs, which are, I think, both worthy endeavors. Also, last time I just remembered I only tried to uh, actually get Angola into our block one time. That should be something that we keep up with until they agree. After all, they are hosting our nuclear missiles now, so uh, they are definitely, I think, a worthy partner. So if I can do that, let's put another request in and just see if they would be willing to uh, agree. I know the relations have gone down again, so we better just improve that. So it's an ongoing thing, you know, it continu continuously uh, degenerates there. Then in the rest of the world, uh, I think, was there anything else? I don't think so, actually. It's a relatively quiet time, it seems. Let me just see before I uh, forget about something. No, I think we can just carry on. So, let's go. And it's now already 2069, so indeed the years are flying past us. So, let's see if this Zambia thing will work out. The last thing we need now is a more warmonger level, but if it's only a little bit, we can accept it if it pays off in the end where we then actually get less if we conquer them. We've managed to catch agents from Indonesia that were trying to spy on us. Now, I don't know what their deal is there, but... Uh, Let's just have a look at the stock market. Cuba joined the bloc of the United States. Well, that took about a hundred years. And Angola doesn't want to hear anything. Interesting. Now we have to wait a while again. Yemen joined the bloc of Indonesia. So Indonesia seems to be asserting itself quite a lot now. Well, Somalia just left them. So I guess they made space for Yemen. Just a hundred days until we can ask Angola again. They probably want some assurances. You know how these governments are around the world. And uh, let's see, infinity and beyond. At least we have the money available, so that doesn't mean more debt in the short term. Then, yes, well, let's see. Zambia's taking a while, so of course that's something to just keep in mind. And information. Pakistan is at war with Afghanistan, which is interesting because I saw now in the news yesterday there was a huge bomb dropped by the US in Afghanistan against ISIS, which, uh, well, I don't know too much about it, but hopefully it set them back because that really is a problem. War between, yes, so I have no idea what this war is about or what the aims are, but we will see. Crime Baron. So it seems Moriarty is loose in our country. We received a proposition from a well-known philanthropist. He wishes to open a bank account in our country into which he would like to deposit very large amounts of money. But uh, there's but one problem. He's wanted in 24 countries and it's an open secret that he is a very dangerous crime baron. Do we really want to get to know him better? If we agree, then we get 30 warmonger, absolutely not, and relations with the world, which in our case is already bad, will become even worse. Close his account and confiscate his money, maybe that will be a worthy thing to do, and we do not deal with criminals, that will improve our relations a little bit. Well, of course we need money, but I think this relationship improvement will help, so we don't deal with criminals, get lost. Pakistan, again, I wonder who is now the aggressor, war between Pakistan and Afghanistan. So by this it would, 
it doesn't really tell us. Nationalist movements in Bulgaria. Bulgarian nationalists are looking to grab Macedonia and absorb it. Bulgaria has gained Macedonia as a new core province. Well, that's interesting. Let's have a look. So, of course, Bulgaria has not really been active very much uh, throughout this game, but it seems that's changing a bit. Next, UN members. So, yes, Austria is there now. Of course, one day I'd like us to be there, but it's such a long way away still. Oh, okay, well, this te does tell us then that Pakistan did start this war because of the warmonger level, but... I don't really know too much about their reasoning. It would be very interesting to see some kind of notifications about that. What are their aims? What do they want? So China just fixed that and South Korea as well. We are on top again, 14%, but it's strange that it's not really so much, but it's because our relationships suffer with the rest of the world. Remember the time when the US gave us over 200, but now it's only 88. That really is a pity. Australia is spying on us. Well, at least we caught them, so I guess that's why they didn't want to be in our block. But, uh, well, that's too bad for them. That spy of theirs is never going to get out again. Try again with Angola. And at least try this again. 17%. I don't know if that will be enough to get something, but at least there's a few prizes up for grabs. And we're almost done with the culture. There we go. Let's just see what else we can do. Uh, statistics, no. There we go. So, military. Well, military is a problem because it always costs so much. Mad? No. We can't do that now. Let's just have a look. Joint combat operations. Something like this could work because it will give us more aircraft attack against armor. So in the future, if we do go to war, which obviously we will, then that means our aircraft will be more valuable. Okay, let's do that. Really, we should be focusing on these really expensive uh, technologies to get the transporters, but it's a very long-term project. That's something we can't rush unless we want to also declare bankruptcy like Pakistan and the Philippines. Good grief. Uh, okay, at least a success this time. So let's see now if they're willing to join. So 68% chance, that means sh it, it should work. Let's see. Ah, it's done. Alright, so for the first time we uh, get somebody into our block. It's always safer to have loyal allies. Start your own block. So our prize is a thousand action points, a bit of money and prestige. Of course, that's very welcome. So, Angola. Let's have a look. Is there any uh, anything that we can see now? Obviously, they're still authoritarian. Sort of average levels in terms of personal control and militarism we'd really want that to go up a bit more so that they can contribute more military units but at least this is something now the olympic games are drawing near this is only the third time in the entire 49 years that we've been playing but uh, let's do it i know again the money is the issue but the advantage of that is of course uh, GDP growth, taxes, and so on. Oh, what happened? Okay, just do this one quickly, or is this now gone? Okay, well, let's take care of this one then. To infinity and beyond, we got the number one prize. That's excellent. So we get both Titan and Enceladus, and of course get the uh, cultures there. But there's our relations suffering again. So I'm glad we took that criminal option that gave us the better relations because that offsets it a little bit at least. South Korea, I think this is their first time now in space. So they're getting Miranda and Ariel and the US is getting Triton. So apart from Ceres, this is now their second object in space that they own. So good for them. Brazil, India, Japan this time couldn't manage it. Canada, France, Australia. Okay, well, so too bad for them. They lose out. Let's have a look. Pause just quickly here. So that means we now get two. So what is the value of these places? Let's have a look at the trade map. 48 minerals. 
all of them seem to only give us 20 for the budget, but that's okay. And 27 minerals. So minerals really is the big, big advantage that we have now. Let's just see. Yes, that is South Africa. So, okay, fantastic. Now we just shift over to the Olympics and hopefully we can get that because it will give us again relations and all of that. So it's a good thing it's not really at the same time because I don't think we could have financially supported two at the same time. So what's our new task? Just stop here. Increase the economic level. I think we had that before. Increasing GDP per capita. But nothing has really happened in terms of that. Let's just see. It says low for some reason. Next ED level. So I don't really know what inf influences this because the effects of course are there but these are the consequences not the causes. And we s certainly do have a very high HDI and uh, unemployment is still zero so I would imagine that our economic development is higher than that. Maybe it means we're taking too much taxes from our people. Maybe we should reduce that a little bit. Let's say 25%. That's a fair number, I think. Then introduce the import infrastructure project. I don't want that. Let's just have a look. That should be under the trade. Because I don't want to import. Can we export some of this as well? We have 162, so we can even do this. Let's activate that. Oh, of course, we have to wait till one of the other projects is done. So then we can have all exports simultaneously and reap all of the rewards from that. So I'm actually going to cancel this import infrastructure. We don't need that. We're an exporter. Just go away. Then our country could use some general improvement and the universal health service. So yes, that is something I think we must do. That can happen after we do these ongoing ones right now. New task, Rage of War. Let's see. It's too quiet around here. Ready up the generals and let's go to war. Okay, I want to keep that because we will do that in the long term anyway. I mean, obviously we're aiming at Zambia and of course after that we still have a few other targets. So it makes sense to keep that one. Space independence, Mercury. Japan, the space colonies are becoming self-sufficient and people up there are becoming ever more independent from their respective governments on Earth. It's possible they'll soon completely break away. No, 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 no. Hold on. I can understand you want to leave Japan because we don't like them very much, but our colonists are happy, are they not? Surely. I mean, we invested so much money now. And we have the tourism project on the moon as well. Ah oh well, we'll just have to see and react to whatever happens. So let's just clear this. Panama joined the US. Our agents report that Gaina Core operation was a complete success. So luckily we don't have any negative consequences from that action right now. Let's see, Pakistan is bankrupt, of course, so there we go. Every few years we get our score and we're still third place and very, very marginally ahead of Japan, which, of course, is not the uh, best thing. We want to increase our uh, lead there and about a thousand behind Europea. So there's another goal for us. Pakistan, China, let's just see, I think that was already taken care of. Yes, so let's just carry on then. Yes, all of them are fine. You see, the US now gives us 102, so that's a good thing. It shows that relations really do make a big difference. Canada, nothing. I don't see anything else really. Is anybody wanting something? Panama is bankrupt, so that's what you get there, I guess. They just joined the US, but that didn't bring them any good fortune. Seems like Pakistan is completely defeating the uh, Afghans here. Hmm. 
Brazil's status has been degraded. War between Russia and Belarus. There we go. The Soviet Union is rising again and now the old partner of Belarus is the target. So that's unfortunate for them. The good thing I guess is if they do take that over. Uh, Russia will certainly surpass us in warmonger levels. So if there's ever an international effort against the highest ones, we'll hopefully not be included. Just fix all of these uh, stock market ones again. There we go. Next elections are coming up in uh, about nine months. Oh, a lot of things happening. Water conflict in the United States. A water shortage conflict occurred. Those who are less fortunate demand some of the liquid gold from others. Unfortunately, no one wants to share any in these dire times. So maybe that's along the... Uh, well, they own the Rio Grande now, so I guess that's not one of the issues. But it's probably some other river. Maybe even here along the uh, Great Lakes or something. Interesting. So let's just see, is that taken care of? Yes, so I can remove that. Pakistan bankrupt, of course, nothing changes there ever. But then why are they going to war if they're bankrupt? Maybe they're trying to take over Afghanistan so they can get some more money or something. Well, we'll see what happens there. It's almost over. Peace treaty between the two and... What's that? The Hindu Kush have been taken over by Pakistan. So uh, I guess I was right. They are busy taking over Afghanistan. But because it's a three province country, they have to do it in steps. United States, the US and Canada are working very closely again. Their relations are at the highest level in years. 26. That's not so high, but maybe that's what it started with. So, okay, that time of conflict between the two are, uh, is over now, so let's have a look. Afghanistan joined Indonesia, so that it looks like the next upcoming power is Indonesia. Just want to see the relations between these two. Okay, project is done. 41, okay, so it's about average now, yes. So if 50 is the middle, then it's actually a little under average, but... It's not as bad as it was before. New company on the market. A major tech company is being listed on the stock exchange soon. It'll be a good occasion to create some buzz for our stock exchange. Do it. Make some commotion amongst the stockholders or just say good. So it'll cost us a bit money but give us more competitiveness. Yes, do it. Absolutely. Hopefully we get some more money out of this. Look at that, 208. Yes, now we have a third of the world stock market again. That's fantastic. So if we just have a look, it's 111 minerals right now. And if we activate this, it's 85. That's cutting it a bit close, but I think we can do it. Let's just have a look. Since it really doesn't stack up or, uh, you know, stockpile, we might as well trade those minerals away. Project implemented. The joint uh, ops there is done. Let's see what's next. Oh yes, there was the issue about the Universal Health Service. So let's see where that would be. Uh, probably internal politics, this one. It does cost, but we have the money for that. Population growth will increase. Unhappiness will go down. Interventionism will go up. I don't see any bad thing here. Free healthcare widely available to all citizens. This should have been done a long time ago, but there we go. Let's activate that. Missing industry profile requirements. This is because of the mineral thing. Okay, we'll abort that then. Yes, then it goes away. So we apparently need more than the 26 that would be left there. So I guess we have to take something else. What about universal academic education? Since we're on the universal things anyway, higher education is commonly available to everyone without any payment. That gives us more HDI, less unhappiness. Do it. Absolutely do it. So a major social investment happening now in the country. 
Let's see, could I gain a core on Madagascar perhaps? Now obviously it's not a neighboring province. That will be a problem. Maybe Malawi then. Well, let's try it. Then at least we'll have it for the future. Peace treaty between Mexico and the US expired, so maybe there'll be more trouble. And that's about it. So let's see. Oh yes, Olympics. This thing is slipping through my fingers. But we have 17% and that was enough last time for the uh, moons there. So I think we should be okay. Pakistan is very high because of the uh, Hindu Kush there. What's that one? Okay, it's just a block of India still. Well, we can say these countries are certainly very loyal to India. They've never left in all these years. So good to have a country in our block now. For the greater good, a dangerous oppositionist is getting the upper hand in the upcoming elections, which happen next month. Should we get rid of him to protect our interests? Um, Accidents happen. Personal control goes up. No, I don't want the unhappiness, so we'll say we'll leave him alone. Definitely. Where are we now in terms of government? We're still authoritarian, but it's going down a little bit, so I'm okay with that. I don't want to go into full totalitarianism. At least not in this particular campaign or series right now. Block? Yeah, I like to see that. Block leader. Maybe we can get somebody else into our block, but who would that be? It will probably have to be somebody very weak. Hmm, maybe Zambia. No, I at least want to have a passage through to the Congo. Hold on, what's this? We would like to open a consulate. This will help, definitely. Great idea, so uh, we need all the good relations we can get. Maybe Madagascar. What's their situation? Let's just have a look at their military. 9, 3 and 2. And they have no navy, which is really unfortunate for an island state. But anyway, it's something, I guess. It's uh, at least the less military they have, the more likely that we will have enough units to incorporate them. And certainly that will help a little bit in a war. But I wonder now if we, let's say we get them into our block, what happens when there is a war overseas? Since they have no transports of their own, will they be able to use ours or will they just not be able to participate? That could be an issue. I don't know. Let's see. Diplomacy 58. Oh yes, units required. We don't have enough. That's unfortunate. Let's just see. Military... Max capacity, why are we so... Is that them or is that us now? No, this is us. Why are we so far away from our max? That's crazy. Something I haven't been paying attention to. So, since we can improve so greatly, let's get some more navy. Let's get 25 or 30. Why not? How much do we have? Two. So, let's make 28 then. And... Aircraft, why not, since we had that other project that gives us better uh, attack against armor. Let's add 20. How much do we have? 15. So let's add 25. We'll make that a major part of our military. And then since we already have 22 infantry, let's make the rest armor. Or give me 12, and that gives us a nice 20. And then the rest for infantry, because we still need boots on the ground. There we go. That's nice and round. So this will take, of course, the best part of a year, but I think it's worthwhile. So do I accept these changes? I guess so. I've never really messed around with that. I just accept it. So, yes, we'll just uh, see what happens then. That's not good. Russia versus Belarus, they attacked the army and succeeded. Wow, so much for actually caring about the countries you want to incorporate into the Soviet Union or the new Soviet Union. So yes, let's see. 
And we get it at last. Again, we, we get the Olympics. The nation who makes the most or the best offer will host and we get more score. This will help us to close the gap with Europea. HDI, so we now have a 120 HDI. I wish we could compare that with other countries. GDP growth, taxes, income, fantastic. I'm not complaining. Relations and unhappiness will go down. So it's a win, 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 win. And India was number two and the US number three. Ah, well. So I can welcome the world into South Africa. And we could even host some of the games or at least some of the events in Namibia, some in Zimbabwe and so on. You know, let them see the whole country now. Still busy with the gain of core. Missing industry profile. Why is that still active? Must I cancel more of these mineral things? Alright, do it. Do it. See if that goes away. It goes away, but there is a surplus. I guess we need more because of the army now. Oh well. Hopefully the taxes income that we're getting now will help offset the loss. Or at least maybe once these are done we can institute the small exports again. Just maximize it absolutely as much as we can. And with this new big army, I think we can really get some juicy partners into the uh, block. What about Kenya? How are they doing? Since they're not one I want to take over anyway. Oh, that's not good. Five, one and one. What about the Congo? I really want the mineral wealth of the Congo. Oh well, we'll see. That's a bit of a longer term issue. Maybe New Zealand or somebody will be interested now. Peace treaty between Russia and Belarus and yes, you can see they've cut Belarus off from Poland, so very clever. UN, new proposition. Canada proposed a new resolution anti-democratic cooperation. That's fantastic. So obviously Canada is not fully democratic anymore. It's authoritarian, yes. I have no problem with that. That's a beneficial thing for me. But now it seems like it's not going to pass. Interesting. You know, it's very, it's probably because of Austria that joined recently. So that pushed it a little bit more towards the democratic powers. But it's so interesting to see the US, Germany, uh, the UK and Canada within this authoritarian bloc now. How things have changed. Pakistan is bankrupt. We should just leave that message open, I think. China, okay, take care of that. Yep, all done. Almost done with Malawi as well. Let's see, does anyone else want anything? There is something. Pakistan, interestingly enough. We would, would you like to share some of your IT solutions with us? We're willing to pay a good price, but my question is, do you have the money? Action points. Okay, it's fine. We'll sell some of our IT solutions. We want to help you. Which is interesting because Pakistan and India aren't they very good with IT? A recent diplomatic summit ended in a serious breakdown, so France and Europea are not seeing eye to eye anymore. Well, I have to support Europea, they are one of our partners, at least in the stock exchange, so it makes sense to stay loyal to them. Spain wants money, but I'm not even going to click on that because my answer will be the same as it usually is. Let's see, nothing here. Interesting. Where's the wise man in the south? What do you say about world events? Uh-oh. Disaster! Our spies were caught by Malawi agents and our reputation suffered. Well, that's not good. What do you get from sitting on the ice too long? Polar weights. Oh yes, very true. So yes, that was not the best outcome. At least our military is growing, so Malawi can't be too upset about it. Let's see, if it would be possible to get New Zealand. 
only 3%. That doesn't seem to change. I think there obviously is some uh, influence or relationship between the distance that you are from this potential block member. So that's why they're not really interested. Zero for them, of course. So who else? I don't know. It would probably be impossible to get someone in Europe. Hyperinflation. Oh dear. For a year we get 15% loss to our stock income. That's really a terrible thing. I mean, that's pretty much the worst thing that could have happened in our stock market. Let's see. I'm just trying to see if we... Uh, there's something. What's that? Hold on. I've never seen this before, have I? We want to introduce... No, I have. We want to introduce higher tariffs. Hope you don't mind. Look at that. 20% for our stock market members. Because I guess we're speaking now for the US, China, Europea, and all of our partners as well. So they would suffer the same penalties. No, this doesn't work for us. We can stand a bit of a hit to our relations with Greece. Uh-oh. That's my uh, alarm there. I didn't put it on silent. Let me just see if I if I try Portugal, for example. 27%. Okay, it's a chance. So it's maybe like just over a 1 in 5. Almost 1 in 3, actually. So that could work. And they don't complain about the units. Let's see. What, what's their military? Not really that great. I mean, that's the equivalent of many African countries that I've seen so far. Spain is obviously in its own block, France. What about the Netherlands? That would be such a reversal because South Africa used to be a colony of the Netherlands long time ago. Hmm, let's see. Zero. Okay, well, they're too far, I guess. Well, that's for the next episode. So, thank you for watching. I know it's been a very long time since the last episode. I'm going to try to upload more regularly, even if it's not very frequently at the moment, because there's so much happening. But, uh, yes, so look out for that. I'm not disappearing. I'm still here. And uh, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic Easter.